to thank Elsa and Alf for their wonderful wedding present. Uh, Pippa for being so supportive since I moved to Summer Bay. Um, oh, and Mum and Dad for having me, of course, and, and my sister Francesca. And uh, the bridal party, thank you very much, especially Grant, who stepped in as best man at the last moment. And finally, I'd like to thank my new wife, Carly Lucini, for making this the happiest day of my life. Thank you. Oh. Well, I, uh, I think we're about ready to cut the cake, so if anyone wants to take a picky, now's the time to do it, I think. <laughs> Excuse me again, folk. Uh, this is the last of the formalities. Then we can let our hair down and really cut loose. <laughs> uh, if I could just ask um, Carly and Ben to take the floor, just take it away. No, take the floor and lead us in the bridal walls. After that, you guys are on your own. Thanks, guys. You know that? You just ran out and left me to cop all the flack. You didn't have to stick around. Oh, someone had to let them know that Ben wasn't going to show up. Why? They would have found out. Shame for Carly, but she's a top chick. Yeah. Well, luckily Ben made it back all right. They had the wedding about an hour ago. Third income. Good value. So the party's on then? Yeah. Well, come on, my man. Let's rage. Look, they'll skin us alive if we walk in there. Nah, bit of the old beer culpa does wonders, mate. What? I'm sorry, Ben. It's all my fault. We are burning hell for the trouble I've caused you. <laughs> Come on. Well, no way. I'm getting out of town till the heat cools off a bit. Fair enough. See you around. Like a rissole, mate. <laughs> To me? Yes. You must be joking. I can't dance. Well, you can't just stand around here. It is a party. Can't we just be ready to go home to the Yes, I will. Excuse me, Tina. Can you excuse me? Is that mind if I cut into you? I know. Francesca. I think that's awfully rude, don't you, Mr. Fisher? I'm sorry, Marilyn, what? Well, I thought it was usually, you know, a guy that cut in on another guy if he wanted to dance with the girl. Not the other way around. Oh, I see. Well, I'm afraid, Marilyn, that in these days of sexual equality, the same rules apply to both men and women. So, you mean a girl can ask a guy to dance? Sure. Why not? Well, in that case, Mr. Fisher, may I please have this dance? Oh, yes, ma'am. Yes, I'd be delighted. <laughs> Well, I don't feel any different. If you expected. Oh, sort of. Mrs. Lucini. Suppose it'll take a bit of time to get used to. You'll have to practice your signature. Yeah, no more Carly Morris. I'll leave this here for now. I'll pack it in the box later. Pippa, I really meant what I said before about you and Tom being like my real parents. It was a beautiful speech. When my mum died, I guess I didn't want anyone to take her place. That's why I sort of pushed you away when I came to live with you. It wasn't because I didn't like you or anything. I know. 
I really appreciate everything you've ever done for me. Oh, I love you so much.